Good morning, my family in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotion. This morning, I want to encourage believers everywhere. Because of the resurrection, we have hope. We have overcoming power. Because of the resurrection, death does not have power over us. I don't care what you may be going through. I don't care what your experience might be. Today, we have victory over death over hell and over the grave because Jesus overcame death, hell and the grave and because of that we too can overcome death in every form, physical death, eternal death and indeed spiritual death. We can overcome it all because of Jesus. And this is what he said to his friends when their brother died. They knew him personally. They understood the word, but his friends didn't know that resurrection was both an event and a person. And Jesus was that person. And he declared to them, I am the resurrection and the life. Whosoever believe in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? John 5 verse 24 speaks, Truly, truly, I say to you, Whosoever hears my word and believes him, who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. And I like what was said in Matthew 27, verse 50 through 53. Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yield up the spirit. That means he died. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth shook and the rocks were split. The toes also opened. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tomb, after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. The word of God to the people of God. So we have no fear because death has been defeated. So we must live today without hope, without assurance. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what may be coming against you. You have victory. We have overcoming power because Jesus did it. Let's believe. Let's meditate. Let's live it out. Let's celebrate because Jesus is alive and he's alive forevermore. And so, Father, we thank you. We express our gratitude, our appreciation. We celebrate. And so today as we live, may we live with that victory. May we live with that hope. May we not give up, not give in. That's the plan of the enemy. But may we press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in God through Christ Jesus our Lord. We commend those who lead the nations this morning, including our prime minister and all of parliament, leaders everywhere. We bless you for those who lead the body of Christ. We commend to you and we thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Let your will be done, let your kingdom come and let us, the ambassadors of heaven, rejoice today. Declare the word over our living, over our families, over those we work with, wherever we go, that Jesus is alive. He's alive forevermore. We give you thanks in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. And remember, we have overcoming power because 
of the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. He is both the event and he's the person. Let's rejoice. Have a great day in the Lord.